I've gotten several requests to talk about what's in my everyday carry notebook. So I figured today I'd make a rapid fire video and show you. Um, and I'll start by saying today, this is actually a fairly authentic video because I'm actually traveling and uh, not at home. And this is, uh, this is the only collection of pens that I have with me. Um, so this is truly a, you know, what do I carry to, to take to work with me type of video. Um, so first, maybe I'll start with talking about this case. It's just a Lit Hit Lab uh, fold flat type of case. It holds, uh, I think it was marketed to, to say 12 pens or so. Um, I think I have a little bit more in here. Um, so let's get started. So um, those of you who've watched previous videos know I don't typically carry a lot of uh, fancy pens or fountain pens in general for work. Um, when I travel, I tend to carry uh, more gel pens and, and pencils and that type of thing. So anyway, here we go. So on the outside, I keep two pens that I like to uh, grab to um, take a quick note. Um, this one is a Muji gel pen. It's in blue black. Um, as you can see, very well used. Nothing special. It's about $1.50 at the Muji store. Um, and this is a uh, Uni um, Jetstream Alpha Gel. This is this comes as a ballpoint pen, but the great thing about these pens is they will take a Energel refill um, or a Zebra Sarasa refill. So this one has a, I think it's a brown um, Zebra refill in it right now. Uh, I tend to like blue, black, and brown. Those are my two colors, so that's why I have this. I had this pen for years and years. I find this is the most comfortable gel pen I own, so I tend to have this one around. And you can see it's gotten a fair amount of use. There's like little scratches, pieces of paint missing and stuff, but really enjoy using this pen. So those are the two I keep um, within easy reach. Now, what's inside the case? So first pouch here, just have a couple pencil accessories. Um, this is a grip. I use sometimes when I use a wood case pencil. This is a Seed Radar Eraser. Uh, I have no loyalty to this brand or this type of eraser. I have it here only because it fits nicely in this compartment. Um, this is a Uni um, lead pointer. Um, and again, no loyalty to this brand. It's just this is the one that fits nicely right here. And I use that because um, I keep one of these uh, two millimeter lead lead holders, lead clutches, whatever these things are called with me. Um, sometimes I enjoy using um, the two millimeter lead size. So I have this. I think this looks pretty cool. It's uh, a red, um, but very simple plastic. I think it was like five bucks. So since we started on that side, let's go through the pencils first. So I have... This is the mechanical pencil I use most when I travel. This is a Uni uh, Alpha Gel pencil. So I told you earlier I really like the Uni Alpha Gel pen. This is the pencil equivalent. I think it's really cool. The other cool thing about this pencil is it has the um, Kuru Toga mechanism, which is the thing that spins your lead while you write. So in theory, you don't get um, bald spots in the lead when you write. So pretty cool. Um, second thing here is just a Pentel eraser. This is called the Uni Shift, so also made by the Mitsubishi Pencil Company. This, not an expensive pencil. I think this is really quite cool because instead of having a um, sort of a pencil tube retracting mechanism, the whole barrel sort of is a retracting mechanism. So to use this pencil, you open it this way and it locks. And then when you're done, the entire barrel comes up and the tube retracts. So pretty cool. This is another pencil that I really enjoy using. This is the Pilot S30. So uh, this looks just like the S20, uh, which has been around forever. Um, but this is the S30, which um, has a couple of upgrades. Um, this has Pilot's automatic um, pencil mechanism. So when you uh, open the pencil or when you 
extend the lead like this. When you write, um, it automatically advances the lead little by little. Um, I tend not to really use that mechanism because in order for it to work, the metal tip kind of has to touch the paper every once in a while for the lead to advance. And I don't like the feeling of that. So I don't really use that mechanism, but I do think this pencil looks quite cool. Um, the other difference um, compared to the S20 is it has a um, wooden sort of cap here instead of a plastic one. So the Pilot S30. Um, then I have five wood case pencils here. I won't talk about all of them. I'll just talk about the couple that I think are really cool. This is the Mitsubishi, uh, I think it's the 9850. This is a quite a cool uh, wood case pencil. It's a little bit thicker than usual. It has a really thick layer of lacquer, um, which is, it feels very premium. This is not an expensive pencil. It came in a 12 pack for like seven or eight dollars. Um, I also really like the foam or the the foam what is what is this called foil uh that's imprinted here it's it's very crisp and uh very deep so it doesn't tend to wear off and i think the marking is very cool it says smooth writing pencil for office use so just in case you didn't know what you needed to use this pencil for it's for office use um this is also by mitsubishi this is their uni line um, i think the uni has three different um lines in terms of uh the the quality i think there's a uni star there's a regular uni this is the high uni i can't tell a difference between the lead of these i don't know if there is um, but there are some other differences so on the high uni i really like this because it has a very cool um, wooden end cap here with a very nice looking um, yellow dot i just really enjoy that it, it reminds me of like a custard or something. I think that just looks really cool. And then the last one I'll talk about here is the Tombow uh, Mono 100. This is the competitor to the, the high uni that I just showed you. This one I actually don't feel as is as well made as the Mitsubishi, but I do think it has more character. So it has the Dragonfly logo. Um, this is the newer Tombow logo. The, the older one had the upside down dragonfly and more of a block font here, which I think looks even cooler, but this is still not bad. And then these newer um, Mono 100s are made in Vietnam. The old ones say uh, made in Japan for high precision drafting. Um, so again, tells you what it's for. So just in case you didn't know what this pencil is for, it's for drafting. If uh, you needed to use for office use, you need to use the Mitsubishi apparently. Um, and it has this uh, cool wooden end cap, which doesn't feel as well made as the, the high uni, but looks pretty cool. So those are the pencils. And then back here, I have a just a simple, cheap plastic uh, ruler. All right, let's talk about the pens. Um, first pen, you've probably seen this before. This is my uh, Platinum 3776. This pen is here because I don't really care about the way this pen looks. It's um, before it uh, ended up in this case, it already started getting scratched up and everything. So I sort of sacrificed this pen to be in a pen case and get scratched up and, and whatnot in order to have uh, a nice pen that I could use every day. Um, the other reason is this pen has a very nice uh, fine nib, um, which just works on all kinds of quality of paper. So I find this is a good pen to carry around. Um, also very professional looking. So even when I don't use it, if you, you know, if I put this in a shirt pocket or something, it's just a, a fun pen to carry around. So that's why this is here. Uh, the second pen here is the Pilot High Tech C um, Kalido, which is a multi-pen. I don't use multi-pens very often. I use this probably a couple times a year. Uh, but I've all, I was impressed with the quality of this. I had um, a Bic multi-pen before, which in itself is a very nice pen. If you've never tried one of those before, they are surprisingly nice. Um, they're, they, they're made in France, which I didn't realize. Uh, the only thing about that pen though, the ballpoint ink in that one was a bit dull um, and a bit, it was very smooth, but it took a bit of effort to write. 
So I feel like this pen is just an upgrade all around. It's gel ink, it's uh, very nice. The pen is surprisingly well made. It feels like a real quality um, object and it is not very expensive. It's just plastic. I don't know how it feels uh, this premium, but it is a very, very well made pen. So have that one. This pen, I really think is pretty cool. This is the Pentel Labrito, Labrito, Labrito. I think it's Labrito. It's a metal pen that has a snap cap that holds the Pentel Energel refill. So you can replace this with a Zebra Sarasa refill. They're the same size. Uh, but this is a very old school looking rollerball pen with a very pleasant cap. Um, the color I picked is cream, which to me gives it more of that vintage feel as well. It's ha It has a very nice snap cap as well. Um, I think I paid around $15 for this pen, which is expensive for a, uh, you know, this type of rollerball type of pen, but for the build quality, the all metal, um, the all metal construction, the really premium feeling cap, I think it's really cool. I don't use this pen for long writing sessions because it's quite thin and um, it doesn't fit my hand very well. I find this a bit more narrow than I prefer to use for a pen, but this is really, really cool. So I tend to keep it with me. This, uh, upside down, this, Uni Ball Signo DX. So this is the equivalent of, or the competitor to the Pilot High Tech C gel pen. Um, I feel this pen is better in every single way. So the Pilot High Tech C, very cool pen, very nice fine line. I find it very scratchy and I don't use it very often. This pen, it feels much smoother to write somehow, even though it's very, very fine. This one is a point Three eight. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Um, sorry, I'm at an awkward angle at this hotel desk, so I can't really um, see my screen very well. Uh, but I think this, this pen is just an upgrade over that overall. It's very smooth despite the thin size. It's also got a nicer cap, in my opinion. The Pilot uh, High Tech C, that cap tends to crack every once in a while. This one, I, I feel like, has more uh, is is a bit stronger and a bit smaller, so less prone to capping. The um, snap mechanism is crisper. It posts better than the Pilot as well. And the grip, so the regular High Tech C has just a plastic um, barrel with no, uh, you know, it's got a textured grip section, but it's just all plastic. I know there's a rubber version as well. It's far less common. This is just a much more comfortable pen. So that's why this is here. Um, next, this is the Zebra Blend. This is the only ballpoint pen I have with me. This pen um, is very interesting for a few reasons. First, I think it looks very cool. It reminds me of that Lamy Aeon look, but this pen has a few hidden things that I think are really cool. The first is it has, I don't know if you can see this on the screen or not, but it has a brass collar inside. So the reason for that is it moves the center of gravity lower in the pen, so it makes it easier to write. The other very cool thing is, like the uh, Sarasa Grand, this one has a two spring um, design. There's a spring on the bottom and there's another spring here on the top. And what that does is when you uh, open the pen, when you, um, you know, retract the pen, it doesn't make any noise. So this is actually interesting because if you look at other pens, when you do that, you typically hear this, which can be kind of distracting when you write. So this is very silent. So it's a very cool pen. However, the ballpoint ink that it comes with, very mediocre. Not bad, but definitely not great. So I don't use this pen a lot. I don't tend to use ballpoint pens a lot. There are better ballpoint pens to use if you want a better writing experience, but I think this pen is very cool over it. All right, three to go. This is a Pilot Friction. Not much to be said here. Erasable gel pen, very cool. Um, I like this pen. Not, I don't care that it's erasable. 
I just like the width of the barrel. This is wider than a typical, like a Pilot G2, Pilot Juice. So I find this more comfortable to use and I think it looks pretty cool. So that's why that is there. It's the uh, only red pen aside from the multi-pen that I have in here. Um, another pen I don't use very often, but I do like to carry a rollerball with me. So this is the Uniball Vision Elite, uh, the best riding rollerball in my opinion that you can buy. It's not expensive one to two dollars each um very cool feed for the ink it i don't know if this is kind of again i can't really see my screen this um is this feed looks just like a fountain pen feed uh it's a very consistent ink delivery very nice writer i tend to like these japanese rollerball pens better than the european um rollerball refills mainly because i think the ink delivery is smoother and it's just a more pleasant writing experience. Last pen. So speaking of European rollerballs, this is a Lamy Swift. I really don't like the Lamy uh, capless rollerball refill. I think it's called the M66 or something. I, If this is one end of this, if this uni is one end of the spectrum in terms of rollerball quality, this is the other. However, I think this pen looks really cool. So it has this retracting clip, which is kind of cool. The thickness of the barrel is really cool. I think it just looks like a really cool pen. I like the Lamy logo on the top here. Very um, Lamy Bauhaus type of, you know, very simple, very, very classy. I really like the way this looks. So I've managed to fit a Pilot Juice refill in here um, to get away from using that Lamy refill. And it works really well. So I actually find myself using this pen quite a bit, um, more so than I would have expected. So very cool pen. Glad to uh, carry it with me um, when I travel. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that was that was fun. I've gotten, like I said, a lot of requests to uh, show you what's in my pen case. And that's what I have. Um, so I hope that was fun. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.